Hello, it's Binky from Made in Chelsea and welcome back to my brand new channel. The Oscars are coming up, so this week I'm going to show you how to get a Hollywood screen siren makeup look. With a flawless flowing base, neutral eye and bold matte lip. This look is perfect if you're heading off to a big event and want to look ultra glam. Once more, it's not too difficult to create, so let's get started. First up is this Clarins Instant Smooth Primer. This is a really good base for your makeup. I'm just going to put it on my face with my fingers. Smear it on my skin. It's moisturising, it smooths on nicely and it gives, your, uh, it gives your skin a perfect base for your makeup. Next up I've got this Guerlain Foundation. This foundation is quite high coverage so you probably don't need any concealer with it. It gives your skin a lovely even finish taking away any blemishes. Next up we've got this Bare Minerals Well Rested Highlighter which also has got a bit of concealer in as well. I'm putting this under my eyes for any dark circles, literally drawing on my face and then just smoothing in with the finger. This will make you look wide awake and your cheekbones stand out a little bit more. Next up I'm using this Guerlain Setting Powder. I'm only going to use what's left in this little lid bit here because you don't want to use too much. Taking a big fluffy brush, dab the brush in, don't blow on the brush, just tap it off with your arm and this will set in all the hard work with the makeup you put on before. Using the brush just massage it into your face, this keeps everything in place and also takes away any shininess you may have. Next up I'm using the Too Faced and it's called Beach Bunny Bronzer. Now we all know I love my bronzer a lot, so getting a little brush, just using all the colours, tapping on your hand, just apply it on your face to where the sun would hit you naturally. So cheeks, on your forehead, down your nose and obviously on your neck. You don't have a tanned face and white neck, that's a big giveaway. This will give you that really great Hollywood screen siren glow. As you can see in the palette, you've got lots of different shades. You've got your slightly shimmerer shades over here and darker shades over the side. This will give you more of a natural look, more than a dense colour. So this is a really cool palette to have in your handbag. Next up, I've got this Too Faced and it's called Candlelight. This is a great highlighter. As you can see, it's got a bit of shimmer, gold in there. Taking a bigger brush, I'm going to be using it on my cheekbones. Give you a natural glowy look. And then taking a slightly smaller brush, I'm going to be using this above my cupid's bow. This will make your lips look fuller. And then again with the same brush going under the eyebrows. This will define my brow bone. And then again same brush, same product using this in the corner of my eyes to make them look bright, make me look awake. Next I'm using this Too Faced eyeshadow primer putting a little bit on my hand, I'm going to show you, just a little amount goes a long way. This will stop your eyeshadow creasing and give a nice base to the eyeshadow you're about to put on. Just dab it on your eye. This is a really good base. Don't be too harsh on your eyelids because you don't want your skin to sag when you're older. Your eyes are very sensitive and delicate. And also, it gives quite a nice colour just using this stuff. Don't need to put any eyeshadow on if you don't want to. This is a Clarence eyeshadow palette called Rosewood. I'm taking a brush and using this pinky shimmery colour for the base of my eyelids. This is a really lovely neutral palette because we're going to have quite a bold lip for this look. So if we keep the eyes nice and simple, but pretty. Give a nice even coverage. And then taking a slightly thinner brush, I'll be using this colour here as the contour. So going up the eye socket. This will give your eyes a lovely defined look, deep and dark and mysterious and sexy. Using the same brush, we go to this darker colour, the darker brown, along the lash line. Also to define the eye even more, I'm going to take the darker brown colour again and just go under the lower lash line. I'm going to be using this Clarins eyeliner called Intense Black along the top of my lash line, not going all the way across, just going halfway across with no flick. Just get as close to the lash line as you can. 
I'm going to be using this Too Faced Lash Injection Mascara, putting on both my top lashes and my bottom lashes, and the top and the bottom. But I'm going to focus the brush mainly on the outer corners of my lashes to get that feline effect. Going back to this Guerlain foundation, I was going to put it on my lips and around my lips just to blot out my natural lip colour. So I had to create a lovely base for my lipstick to go onto. Then taking a red lipstick and a, a lipstick brush. It's always best to do a red lipstick with a brush because it makes it more defined and slowly apply. Really take your time with this because there's nothing worse than a wiggly line and a red lip. I find it easiest to do the outer of the lip first and then fill it in with the rest of the brush. To make your lipstick last longer all night, get a piece of tissue paper, blot, and then reapply. If you use your finger, the warmth of your finger will actually activate the lipstick. Moisturise it. And it'll give you a more intense colour. To get that real Hollywood glow, I'm using this Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter with a big fluffy brush on my cheekbones. This will look great for photos, it really catches the light. I hope you liked this glamorous screen siren look. To keep up to date with all my beauty videos, subscribe to the channel. All of the products I have used today will be in the description box below or you can get them on essential.com. I'll see you next week, bye!